Welcome back. A few months ago, I did a segment with college basketball journalists Gary Parrish, Sean Farnham, and Jeff Goodman. They all said that they believed that Philip Petrushev should return to Gonzaga for his junior season. Today, Petrushev announcing that he is foregoing his collegiate eligibility and he will play for a club in his hometown of Belgrade, Serbia. His agent said the reasoning behind this decision is because this team has gotten more players drafted into the NBA than Gonzaga has in recent years years. There are a lot of questions pertaining to this situation, so I'm going to try to answer them the best I can. However, we're going to start first with maybe a questionable situation that I don't have a ton of concrete answers to. Perhaps the craziest part of today's news wasn't reported in the original article. According to reports, Mark Few and company only found out Philip wasn't returning when the news broke. He never told them he was signing this contract. This either means two things. One, things happened so fast that Philip didn't have time to inform the coaches. Or two, there was friction between him and the staff. Philip did thank his coaches and his teammates in a statement released by the school and said, quote, Gonzaga University will always be my second home and a place where I will be returning often. You may wonder why Philip decided to sign with a Serbian team and not at least wait it out until after the NBA draft. According to Draft Express's Jonathan Giovanni, Philip is going to keep his name in the NBA draft pool. He doesn't have to make a decision on that until October 6th. However, it's not super common for a player to sign with a European team and then end up getting drafted in the same year. So that leads us back to the same question. Why did he do this? Despite Phillip being a force in college basketball last season, he is not projected to be a surefire pick in the NBA draft, according to multiple draft boards. His back-to-the-basket, ground-and-pound game just doesn't have as much of a place in today's small ball, three-point shot-obsessed NBA. This was probably the safest option for Phillip, especially in today's COVID-19 world. It's reported that his contract is a multi-year deal. Stability is attractive in this day and age. Most European contracts have a clause for players letting them get out of their contracts if they're picked up by an NBA team, so that option is still there. He also gets to go home, which has to have some sort of pull on him, as Philip hasn't lived in Serbia since he was 16. He's 20 now. Our next question is, why did Philip decide to sign professionally instead of staying at Gonzaga? Like our last question, there's multiple answers to this one. First of all, Philip Petrushev was the focal point of Gonzaga's team last year. With five-star point guard Jalen Suggs entering the mix, a much more loaded 2020-2021 frontcourt, and Corey Kispert becoming more of a scoring threat, Petrushev straight up just wasn't going to get the ball as much this year. Last season, he had the highest usage rate of any Gonzaga player since Kelly Olynyk. In some ways, he'd had the best season he could at GU. He probably wasn't going to do anything insane with his numbers this year that would have made his stock higher. Of course, the other reason he may have not wanted to return was the uncertainty around college basketball season next year due to coronavirus. There's so many questions concerning what will happen. Philip gets to skirt those now. Our next question may be the biggest one for Gonzaga fans. How does Petrushev's departure affect the team for next year? Two years ago, news like this would have been catastrophic for Gonzaga. Now, I didn't even really flinch. Gonzaga is expected to see increased contributions from hosts Drew Timmy, Anton Watson, and redshirt Omar Balo. You add in four-star recruit Julian Strother and Pavel Zakharov, who mostly hung out on the bench last season. Well, let's put it this way. I'm not too worried. Gonzaga still has a healthy four-man big man rotation, which not many other programs in the country have the luxury of. They aren't as surefire of a favorite to win the national title, but they're still a top three favorite. Anyone would take that. Basically, what I'm saying is do not panic, even if today's news was unexpected. That's it for sports.